Welcome back, guys, to Atelier Riser 2, Lost Legends and the Secret Fairy, where last episode we finished off our exploration loop of the Phantasm Forest after poking our heads into the next area, before returning to the Atelier for an item drop, as first Cloudy and then Lent stopped by to check on the weakened fee. We then started the exploration of the slumbering river valley where we found the phantom tail spirit beast awaiting, defeating it to complete the first five points of research and open up fragments all over Mirage land. So we've returned to the phantasm forest to grab all 12 as we now get back to our second area for some proper exploration. Everyone's doing their own forms of encouragement, right? Hey Poon, you can't get back that fast! I just sent you away! <laughs> Right, well, let's uh, feed the puny one more thing. So is that my best by quantity now? Seems these are. I've got lots of these now. Sure, I'll feed you some of the good stuff. You're gonna go pink again, aren't you? Seems to be the way. Right then. So our first section is bound for fragments. Now, back to the Slumbering River Valley. So how many fragments were there? Twelve. Golden sheep! They're called dream catchers. Makes it sound like they can make me go to sleep. Magic damage, are you sure? <laughs> I do like the plus defense buff, to be fair. You know me. Defense, the best offense. He says while making this redonkulously good gear, but that's all defense, right? Even the offense. Look, you sheep, you're my way. Everything looks like he's been having a bad time. With my swift feet back, I might be able to take him out. Get him done, Lent. I guess so much experience for battle is unreal. And the good fluffy ball. So this demonic beast was protecting the divine tree. It was attacking us to ward us off. The entire time I observed it, I never once saw it eat anything. It must feed on the mana. The vine tree creates the mana that the beast feeds on, and the beast protects the tree in turn. A truly symbiotic relationship. Ah, more sheep! <laughs> Run away! So we didn't get that chest. Let's go this way first. Oh, no. Okay, let's not go that way first. <laughs> no fragment in the corner. We only have one way to go. So I'd say let's grab that missed chest. However, that's on up on high as well. We have one destination to travel. Seems that guy is now permanently gone. Oh, I didn't check if I could make a new version of our friend. Oh, that's an enemy! <laughs> I thought, what's this weird, like, flare? <laughs> red on his... On the back of his head confused me. It's a critical miss. I'm 
All right, Tails. Uh, Lent is reaching ever so closer to the amount he needs to hit. So we've got a river going through this area, which allows us to go back round. To where Fragment was, or upwards. Oh, forest mythical beasts. You're a different type. It's a little bit sad for these guys that because they're a different color, it just means like, oh, no, I'm gonna hunt you down for the first time. It was a bit mean. For all these reasons. I have to see what you drop. If you drop anything good. Oftentimes the answer is no, but we've got a whole another thing here. Hello. A relief with a dragon surrounding something. Flaming Sun Mural. A book of Flame was also obtained. Okay, let's go to the left of the river this time. Remember, there's the place to go through up top. Purple seems to be where it's quite interested in taking me, to be fair. Interesting there's this random, like, internal bit here. <laughs> so ideally, I need to get up on that left ledge, which I can do. That'll get me the treasure chest. And you! <laughs> the Schwartz Wraith! <laughs> Green Schwartz Wraith. Guys, like you switch off of me, I do more damage. <laughs> Level 55 for Claudio and Tao. Rise as well. And we got the rare drop, whatever that was. Probably more fairy horn adornments. Guess some training is done, so Vitality Level 1's learned. I did it! We, if we burn this, it should lift the mist and reveal the path. I hope all there's left now is to find the place to burn it. Well, that's a big tip. So that's probably what we're going to be making while we're here. <laughs> I'll go with the axe. In the chest is the Lapis Flugel, which is the current tier of weapon that Claudia is on. However, as you can see, one of these things is not like the others. <laughs> Head around this way then. Looks like a dead end. I was looking to see if there's something nice and new I can get, but... You can't catch me! I'm on the wall! Xenoblade rule says you can't follow me! Even if you are level 70 bird. Look at this! 
This tree is obviously different from all the rest. You think the forest is something to it? Hard to say. If the forest were responsible, it'd be weird that only one tree would be affected. Well, let's not just stand around thinking about it. Let's take a close look at the tree. They're coming. What are those? They're getting ready to attack. I didn't notice them approaching at all. Be careful, everyone. They look really strong. They do look cute. So that must be what was in the message. Sloppy here. How could this ever hurt me? Got it a little bit faster. You can take the first one down. What's doing big swimming air hurricanes over there? The attackers have been dispatched. Were those the cute things that were mentioned in the research log? That's the question. Well, they attacked, but they've been dispatched. Now, here is the thing that we get to make. It's really quite beautiful. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it. It's quite old. Hundreds? No. Perhaps over a thousand years old. Wow. That is old. If it's really that old, it might have already been here when the ruins were built. That's certainly possible. So this tree might hold the key to solving the mystery of the entire forest. Maybe we'll learn more if I, you know, touch it. <laughs> he agrees. Yes, touch the red thing. Please tell me about the forest, so that I can save my friend. Huh? This is the Divine Tree. It was very important to the people who lived here. I see. So we need the help of this tree to clear the fog from the forest. Huh? I'm falling deeper and deeper. No, no. That's not Fee. These are the people of the past and these ancestors. They're fighting something. They're in pain. Terrified. So many emotions mixed together. But what are they fighting? It can't be. That's the Felucia. 
but not like the ones I remember. But what are they doing here? They're... Hey, wake up! Everyone! I said, thank goodness! Everyone, what's the matter? Don't give me that. You just collapsed out of nowhere. Skeletal half to death. Oh, I must have passed out. Not just that. You looked like you were in pain. We were all really worried. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I'm okay now, see? Totally fine. Oh, never a dull moment with you, Ryza. So, did you see anything while you were out? Well, about that. No way. So the Felucia didn't just appear during the Clint King Namira. They've always been here. Give them the right conditions and they invade. That's just their way. Felucia. These really scary monsters in the underworld. They destroyed the underworld and the Clint Kingdom. The underworld, the Felucia. There is still so much I do not understand. Speaking of things I do not understand, these ancestors are also a curious issue. He doesn't exactly look made for fighting. Definitely. There's no way tiny guys like him could stand up against the Felucia. But now we know for sure that V and the ruins are connected. That's true. We should set to ruins to try and figure out how V's ancestors live in this world. If we can figure that out, we might be able to save V. Now that we have a clear goal, let's get moving. And we need to do something about this fog too. Wait, hold on. I know I need this branch, but I still need some more clues. Maybe I should look around the forest some more. Well, that was one hell of a trip. Another investigation is added. Should I quickly head to the investigation list again? Because now there's two more things. This is activated over 75. Is this not for an item? Yes, it is for a special recipe. A tree beyond illusion. Forest of illusions, losing oneself. Well, this is about clearing the mist, so I think that's somewhere down here. Special firewood clears mist. A special member of processing to the wood from the divine tree to create firewood that dispels the mist. Look like a good one to go to. Same as the mist, shiny powder. What we got here? Large scales. Jar full of shiny bluish white powder. The powder is the same as the mist in the forest. So we need remnants of shiny charcoal. Something tells me, of course, because we haven't really explored the rest of the area yet. We won't have it. 
But always good to get some of them ticked off the list. Forest Mist with Illusions. I think we've seen that. Spirit Tree Forest is surrounded by mist and illusions down the bottom. Obstructs one's visions. Beast attacking people, divine tree secret. So that says about divine tree, but it doesn't say secret. Praying the unknown, the ethereal dragon, attacked by demonic beast. Spirit tree, lives are tied, hunters of evil. Doesn't seem like we got that one. I don't think we've got anything that said forest of illusions in the end. Or, or more to the point, we do have a lot of stuff that says forest of illusions, but not necessarily losing oneself. Traveling merchant hasn't been found yet. Nor the fragment of a meteor or anything like that. We're getting there. More bits go in all the time. So there is a goodie there. But that's of course just by fighting my way around to that. Time to make my way around, eh? Can't catch me, I'm just too speedy. <laughs> Don't be scared of the bugs. Not even gonna make them do anything to you. <laughs> Would be bad to get some better quality wind or quality of the stuff I have at the moment is terrible. Hey, what's that? It looks like some kind of furnace, but I don't see anything special inside. I looked around the area, but I didn't spot any other devices or anything. I would assume it's related to the ruins somehow, but... Let's just keep going for now. Maybe we'll find more clues further in. There's a clue. Pure white charcoal. That was definitely on our list for making a creation. Whatever we're gonna make, that's it. Now, those four ancient swords are gonna reply a little bit. Okay, don't be weird. <laughs> you found encountered something truly magical and you like it? That's good. Meanwhile, we're gonna fight this guy. Noir Dol. Guess they don't have any resistances, it seems. I suppose they lowered the enemy stats on that one. And so with a hail of magic arrows. Wow, you takes it down, no problem. A golem core was obtained, and... People! The beast attacks us day after day, but disappears as soon as we try to pursue it. I've been tracking the beast for the past few days, and I've discovered that it flees to the divine tree after every attack. It gnaws on the tree's roots and then vanishes. The secret of this place must lie with the tree. But I haven't seen the tree yet. I do not know that of which you speak of. Another fragment in front. Interesting how all the pots just have fruit with them. 
City of Stars staff. So where are we going? For more goodies. Uh, maybe I don't want to commit to going down there just yet. <laughs> Oh, I can't get up that way, so that's the only way to go. I got right up to the edge, though, didn't I? That's the way to go. He really needs that book, doesn't he? <laughs> What's with this thing? Didn't even budge! I can see a path turning us right behind it. I think this is the fox doing. Oh, did you figure out more about it? Nothing concrete, but I definitely sense mana within the fog. I believe it's having an effect on the area. Are you saying we are unable to move this boulder because of the fog? So the fog here is filled with mana instead of poison. You think it's harmful to breathe it in? I imagine that if it were bad for us, we would have all collapsed already. Even so, we are going to have to do something about this fog sooner or later. E.G. to get past. Tale of the Phantom Forest. Let's continue through the areas. The Millennial Stump, where all Millennial Trees come from. The Progenitor Millennial Tree. Some call it. So I'm turns are looking for more goodies here. Not so much. There's an incredibly suspicious cave with nothing inside it. So that's a thing, too. I'll take that. It's the shop man! What do you have to sell today that I don't already have quite a lot of nothing? Bye, shop guy. So, is this a good time for me to pop back? I think I can keep on for a little longer. We ideally, we want to get to the next area before we dump stuff off of, but equally, we know there's events weighing at the atelier. Because everyone wants to see Fee. So this will be the interesting location. Because we know there's a cut through up here. Wait, so how did I get back that way? Is that area only reachable from... Oh, it's only reachable from the water. That's what I thought. Five golden crowns is a pretty good pick, though. This just brings us back into the water we were before. At this point. So now time to swim our way through, eh? Another tree stump. In both directions here, yeah. How many are we missing? Oh, we've got all the fragments. So by the look of it, we've got everything we need to be able to pass through that area. The enemies hidden within this nice wooded area. Minimap says no. 
This area seems too big for there to be nothing here. I mean... It's on the line of there not being more than one gathering item, too. Oh, there's a couple more. Dealing magic damage, then. Right, give me another turn. I did just do wise damage. What do you want from me, Len? <laughs> He's probably thinking it was fire or something. Call him Lent. The Wall Pusher. <laughs> Not quite as good nickname as one of his dads. And so our chest is an Excelsior Brace. Of course, it's not going to be better than her tier weapon. Tier 3 weapon, isn't it? Based on nothing is an improved item. So we should have everything we need to discover a new recipe. So, Remnant, Shiny Charcoal. Forest ruled by illusions is attained sentience. Remnants of firewood, shiny powder, charcoal. The explorer had burnt firewood made from the divine tree to clear a path. The burnt remains left in the furnace could be remnants of that firewood. The powder mixed with the charcoal is the same as the fog in the forest. It looks like they used the competition of the fog against itself. Forest of illusions losing oneself. Mysterious place with many dangers. Forest ruled by illusions is attained sentience. If one can gain his protection, they may be able to escape the forest while still mortal. Beast attacking people, divine tree secret. Ask our dragons of earth, crawling dragon. Demonic trees nor on demonic beasts nor on the roots of the divine tree after an attack. I think that's it. Doesn't explicitly say secret, but it's correct. Taint, carving, awakening, incense recipe. Return to the ATLA to synthesize. 